Well, good morning, John Finney from Carquest. It is Thursday, the 25th of April, and I'm up here this morning, Adams County Fairgrounds. It's seven o'clock. Now, I made a long drive up here, left Colorado Springs many hours ago, slogged through some torrential rain to get here at about six o'clock, just before first light. And about maybe 30 minute, 45 minute walk around the lake. Did see a few dozen fish sowing on either side of this point, so I thought this is a good place to get set up. So, got my stuff on the barrel, got myself down here, and I finally got myself cast out. Fishing two rods today, rod on the left, cast out, maybe 20, 25 yards and about 13, 14 feet of water, 20 mil skull pet squid, right and rod, cast out, so slightly off to my right again, maybe 20, 25 yards, about 12 feet of water, this time with a 20 mil TG active. It's gonna be a pretty overcast day here. I suspect that the rain that I managed to outrun finally coming up from the springs will make its way to Dryden and we might get a complete downpour this afternoon. I suppose we'll have to wait and see. Andrews will be coming down a little bit later and hopefully we'll get some carp on the bank together. So I'm gonna sit back, put my feet up, drink some coffee, it's a little bit chilly, and see what we can get. Come on. That's a nice looking fish. I know. Well, what can I say? Andrew turns up, he casts out. He hasn't even got his other rod set up and he's landed a carp already. Totally disgusting. This <laughs> little guy fell to a pineapple boilie. Well done, Andrew. Thank you, John. First of many, I hope. Well, we finally did it. A pre-spawn common out of Adams County. Five trips up here and we got it done. Look at this little girl. Fell to a 14 mil Scorpex pop up. Look at that. Wow. 22 inches, 20 and a half pounds. Yes! We got one done. Awesome fish, John. Awesome fish. I think we're going to have some victory coffee in a minute. <laughs> Let's get this girl back. There's still plenty of fish sewing out there. Let's see if we can get some more. Well, the Scopex pop-ups, again it done. Another carp, not as big as the last one, but still just as beautiful. This one, 11 and a pound, about 27 inches or so. What a beauty. Let me get this one cast back. I haven't had my coffee yet. Let's see what else we can get. God bless. Yes, the carpy goodness. It just keeps on coming. No, I just stood there Shouting to Jordan, the wildlife manager for this area. He just departed. Had a quick old run. And look wow. at that, fin up and everything. 21 pound 12. Adams County Common Carp. Another 32 inches long. This guy fell to a Scopex squid pop up. Yes, it's getting it done. They're getting bigger. I'm going to drink some more victory coffee now. Well, what a wonderful pair of 20 pound common carp that was from Adams County. Those girls both fell to the same bait. Let's have a look at the rig we were using. Got some 15 pound bullet mono going down to a three ounce flat lead. Got some rig tubing, line liner off the clip. About eight inches, 20 pound armor link. This is in brown. That goes down to a size five fang twister. Got a hook kicker, got a hook bead there bait screw and hanging off the bait screw is the 14 mil scopex squid pop up a really simple rig and it's getting the job done now we get this cast back out see if we can catch another one god quest well what a little cutie this little guy is now i cast my right hand rod back out onto the spot two minutes later he's in the net and in the cradle yes i'm gonna get him back well there's nothing better than victory coffee for a pair of 20s on the bank side with your friends. Cheers. Thank you, Andrew. Cheers. Victory. 
tastes oh, garbage. That, that tastes good. It tastes victory. That's the taste of victory. That's though. the taste of victory. <laughs> <laughs> certainly is. Well, there we go. We just sat there, so angry how to tie some rigs, and it's got on. He thinks this is a better fish. Can he get the net? and see what he's got. Well, 11.40 now at the fairgrounds. Andrew swapped out his bait for a Scopex pop-up and carp on this fat little girl. 16 pound two and 30 inches. What a beauty, Andrew. Beautiful. Good man. Let's get her back. Well, look at that one. The Scopex squid keeps on getting it done. Andrew's third fish of the day. This really fat common, 17 and a half pounds for a 30 inch carp. That's a real fatty. Well done, Andrew. Caught on a rig tied by the carp guru. <laughs> yeah, tied up a rig up. And he lands a beautiful carp with it. Andrew's only got about half an hour and he's got a bail. Maybe we can get one more carp on the bank for him. Who knows? Can't rest. One o'clock near here at the fairgrounds. You know, Andrew landed those beautiful fat fish, 16 pounder, 17 pounder. No, it's a bit of a drought for me. Anyway, two hours later, I finally got one on. Another one to the Skullpex squid. Look at this little beautiful oh, coloured male. Beautiful dark fish. Yeah, look at that. About 11 and a half pound. Well, I'm happy. Size doesn't always matter. Look at that. I'm gonna get back. I'm gonna eat some lunch. Get cast out. Well, Andrew was just about to pack up and head on home. Gets a screaming run and lands this absolute Adam's Bruiser. This 20, is awesome. Awesome fish, 20 pound four, 32 inches long. Well done, Andrew. Another Thank one you. to the Scopex squid pop up. Caught in a rig that John Finney made. <laughs> this would be half my fist. Look at that fist. What a stunner. Look at that. That's awesome. Well done, Andrew. Thank you. Well, what a beauty that 20 pound four chubby Adams cart was for Andrew. And as he's packing up as well, there you go. Just so, just give it five more minutes and a 20 pounder on the bank. <laughs> Worthy of some victory coffee. <sighs> well, I must say, the switch to pop-ups this morning certainly did the damage. Well, certainly has done the damage so far. You know, I've pissed for a couple of hours when Andrew turned up with Skullpex squid bottom baits, you know, tandoori garlic bottom baits and I got nothing but I did have one run and that fish came off. Andrew turns up five minutes, casts down his pineapple body, catches a nice little car. Made me think, you know, something must be going on here. There's plenty of carp out there, why not catch them? Switch to pop-ups and bang, you know, fist, fist, fist on the bank. Skullpex doing the job today. So, like I said, Andrew's packing up. Me, I think I'm going to carry on going. Carry on fishing. Hopefully the thunderstorms forecast today don't roll in and wipe me out completely. Let's see how many more carp, if any, we can get on the bank. Carp quest. Well, 3.15 here at the fairgrounds. A double wobble. You know, both the left hand rod and the right hand rod went off literally in a few seconds of each other. Got two fish on the bank, one's in the net in the water, one's here in the cradle. Let's have a look at the first one. Another one or two, I think. Oh, look at that chunky monkey. Look at that. 31 inches, 18 pound. What a beauty. Another Adam's five guns. Chunky cup falls to the skull bricks. And we get this one put back, get the other one out. I want to have a look at that in a minute. Well, there's the second fish, not as big as the first one, but just as beautiful. This little guy, 28 inches, 15 pounds. What a beauty. Still got a few hours fishing left. I think I might catch some more. Conquest. Well, the chunky goodness at the fairgrounds just keeps on coming. Look at this one, 31 inches, 19 pounds. What a bruiser. <laughs> I just don't want to say, I'm so happy. Oh, what an absolutely gorgeous fish. 
look at that belly on that thing. Wow. Again, fell to the scope but it's weird. Blah, blah, blah. Only get this fat girl back and get cast back out. God bless them. Well, what an epic result today is. You know, today is actually the fifth time I've come up to the fairgrounds in as many weeks. And I started coming up here in early March, trying to really get on the fist before the sport, to try and catch those really big fat females. The first time I came up here, it was horrible weather. Absolutely torrid, brutally cold, and very windy. Froze myself to death, but I did catch that one carp right at the end. Next three times we came up here, I blanked three times. Now Andrew did actually come out with me a couple of those times and he actually caught two carp last week, which was a good sign. But this week, the carpy gods, it's all come together. You know, eight carp on the bank for me so far, four for Andrew earlier, and a lot of big fat females pre-spawn. Job done, missing accomplished. It just goes to show if you pull in the work, pull in the time, you can get the carp on the bank. So, three or four hours fishing left, there's plenty of time, you know, might catch a few more. You know, the sun's still out, it's blazing away, the thunderstorms have not shown up at all. And I've still seen carp jumping out all over the lake. You know, it's definitely, today was the right day to get up here and get a line in the water. Considering it's like a four hour round trip driving, you know, it must be mad coming up here, but I do it every year, and this year it certainly paid off. So, back to fishing. Drinking some more Victory Coffee and see what else I can get on the bank. God bless. Well, quarter to seven now at the fairgrounds. And my day here, I think, is just about done. Finally switched out one of my Scopex pop-ups to a tangdoi garlic, cast out onto the right, into the bay, half an hour later, had a screaming run, and a real carpy pig on the other end. Look at this fatty. Look at that. What an absolute stunner. Fin up on everything. This big fat girl, 31 inches, 19 pound four. What an absolutely great way to end the day. I'm gonna get this girl back. I've got one more run out there. I think I'll start packing up and get ready to head on home. So for now, you all have a great evening from Carp Quest. <laughs>